Our top story this morning, the former presidential secretary for civil affairs was grilled by lawmakers on Thursday over his alleged role in the power abuse scandal centering around President Park Geun-hye and her close friend Choi Soon-sil. Woo Byung-woo denied all allegations against him, insisting he has never even met Choi. Another key witness also stayed relatively tight-lipped. Ji Myung-gil tells us more. The National Assembly had a hard time getting any significant testimony from President Park Geun-hye's former civil affairs secretary Woo Byung-woo at Thursday's parliamentary hearing. Woo, who is facing allegations of dereliction of duty and helping Che with her alleged illicit activities, denied knowing President Park's longtime confidant Che Soon-sil. When did you first know Che Soon-sil? I don't know Che Soon-sil. Choi Soon-sil has been arrested on charges of abuse of power, coercion and fraud. Among the allegations against her, Choi is suspected of pressuring conglomerates into making large donations to two controversial foundations, Mid and K-Sports, using her close ties to the president. The panel also asked Wu, Do you respect President Park Geun-hye? After becoming President Park's civil affairs secretary, I heard the president say we work for the country and the people. I felt her sincerity, so I respect her. Representative An also urged Wu to apologize to the people for failing to prevent the corruption scandal as a former presidential aide. I am deeply sorry for not being able to prevent the whole situation while I was in office. The other person at the hearing was former presidential nurse Captain Cho Yeo Oh. She says she never performed any cosmetic procedures on President Park, but did send her prescribed medications. The army nurse was stationed at the presidential office of Cheongwa-dae during the 2014 sinking of the Seoul ferry. One of the allegations against President Park is that she neglected her duties as president during the accident, which claimed 304 lives, because of her seven-hour absence during the crisis. The other 16 people summoned to the hearing did not appear. Under the current law, a person who refuses to attend a hearing led by a special parliamentary committee without a justifiable reason can be subject to up to three years in jail or roughly 8,000 U.S. dollars in fines. The parliamentary panel will hold separate hearings at jailhouses next Monday as witnesses who are in custody continue to ignore lawmakers' summons. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.